My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training, and in today's Everyday Office video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create an automatic looping, basically a photo slideshow, without ever leaving a single slide. So you can very easily create a photo slideshow by putting a different photo on every slide of your presentation. But what if you landed on a slide of your presentation and the effect that you were going for was to sit on that slide but to have a continuously looping series of images? Well, there's an animation technique that I used to use in Flash a long time ago that basically has you create the loop yourself, physically create a duplicate loop and then have that um, automatically repeat. So as you can see here, I'm in PowerPoint. I am uh, importing a couple of images. Here's five pictures of the great state of California. I'm gonna click insert here. And I'll just go ahead and size these down just a touch. Uh, maybe about that big. Okay. And now what we're going for is to space these out reasonably. And actually, let me go down here to the corner and zoom out a lot. Okay. So I need to make a series of these, maybe where they're spaced out that much. There we go. You can see that PowerPoint's helping me align these and helping the spacing stay consistent. All right, good. Now, once you've got a series of photos, the first thing you're going to want to do is to highlight all of them at the same time and group them together. You can uh, just click and drag to draw a box around all five of these images. That highlights all these images simultaneously. And um, on the Home tab at the top of the screen, you do have under the Arrange option, this group selection here. Uh, but I never use this. I always use the keyboard shortcut Control G as in group. So Control G groups all those images together. Okay, so what we're going for here, let's go ahead and center this. I'll go to my drawing tools. I'll align it to the center and I'll align it to the middle. Okay, so the effect I'm going for, let me go ahead and put a little text above this, maybe something like... Uh, California. Mm -hmm. Center it and we'll go ahead and center it. Okay, so we want these five images of the state of California to slide past in a continuous loop as we discuss the beautiful state of California. So what we'll do is we'll leave these, as you can see, I centered them so that they would tail off to this end and they would tail off to this end. So this end of this image is off the slide. This end of this image is off the slide. Now think about this from the starting point of the animation kicking off. What I want is for there already to be a picture over here to the far left, be at least one picture hanging off to the right, and I want the whole thing to slide, let's say, from right to left. Immediately after this picture of the rock slides this way, I need this picture of the beach over here on the left to be right behind it, and then I want this picture of the beach to be behind that one, and then this picture of the beach to be behind that one, etc. So the fastest way to make that happen is to click on your group of images and use Control D as in duplicate. That'll create your second one. You just want to go ahead and slide it on over to make a continuous strip. And so the hope here is that it gets back to this point right here where this image of the beach is dead center on the slide. And then it loops back around and starts over from that same point. So again, click directly onto the group on the left, hold down the shift key, click on the group on the right, and again, use the control G keyboard shortcut to group those two things together. So we've made a full strip here uh, with duplicated images. So now what I want is I want motion that goes from the right side to the left side for this whole strip. 
Uh, that is not an entrance animation. So you can see here I'm on the animations tab at the top of the screen. I'm going to use the drop down menu here. I'm not looking for it to enter. I'm not looking for it to exit. I'm not looking to emphasize it. So that means I'm looking for a motion path. And the simplest possible motion path is just a straight line from one point to the next. I'm going to choose straight line. Now, unfortunately, it thinks that I want to go vertically at first. Uh, so I'll go to my effect options and say, no, I actually want you to move from the right to the left. That's the green marker on the right side, the starting point, and the red marker on the left side, the ending point. Now, this is not going to go nearly far enough, and there are a lot of things I want to change about this. So let's start off with how could I possibly get this exactly right as far as an animation is concerned. Well, I'm going to take this little red and green marker here, and I'm going to recognize that in this animation, as you can see here, the Golden Gate Bridge kind of slides just a little bit, right? So here's the original Golden Gate Bridge, and it slides over here to the left. That's beginning and end. And then here's my second Golden Gate Bridge, the beginning and then the end. What I want is I want for this to go far enough so that this beginning Golden Gate Bridge actually gets all the way down here and basically overlaps with itself so that when the animation repeats, the Golden Gate Bridge is in the same place. And of course that goes for all the pictures, but the Golden Gate Bridge is the image that's easiest to line up because the other ones are kind of like amorphous beach images. So as I click on this little red dot and drag it to the left, the first thing I'll notice is that I'm sort of keeping these things lined up appropriately. You might want to hold down your shift key to make sure that that's the case. The second thing is that as I pull this to the left, you can watch that Golden Gate Bridge get closer and closer and closer to the original, original Golden Gate Bridge. And you want to stop it not right on top, right? So I could get it like right, right on top. But what I want for it to happen is I want it to get just before the, the old Golden Gate Bridge so that it fills in with the next stage of the animation. So that's pretty darn close. And we can definitely tweak this forever and ever and ever. But you can see that that overlap is very, very close. I do need to do a couple of other quick things. So I'll click on the animation pane button up at the top of the screen and on the little drop down menu here for that group that I'm animating, go to my effect options. The first thing is you can see here that it thinks I want to have sort of a slow start and a slow end, that smoothing option. I don't want that because I want it to be completely seamless. I want it to look like this strip goes on forever and ever. So there is no slowing down at the beginning, no slowing down at the end, no smoothing at all. And the other thing is that it uh, is going to give me a two, well, on click. I don't want it to happen on click. I want it to happen as soon as the slide shows up. So with previous there. The duration of two seconds is not nearly long enough. Let's say it's maybe, um, I don't know, 12 seconds, something like that. And the other thing is that I definitely want it to repeat, um, probably repeat all the way until I move off of this slide altogether. And then I'll click OK. And you can see this thing sort of sliding along, but I really need to test this full screen to see whether it's going to do its job or not. So I go to my slideshow tab, start the slideshow. OK, so you can see it start to kick off. You can see the Golden Gate Bridge sliding off the screen to the left. And then the beach comes back and the Golden Gate Bridge comes back. And then watch this point right here. Wow, isn't that clean? It had just the tiniest little hiccup there. But unless somebody is really paying very close attention, they won't notice when it goes. There, there it is. Okay, it's just a little bit bigger that time around. But you can see as I get it tighter and tighter and tighter, I can get that little gap of when it cycles back around to be as good as humanly possible so that there is a little bit of a blip there and I would take probably 10-15 minutes to really make that perfect but you can see where the repeat is just because of that little blip there now. And so in order to create a consistent film loop, as it were, you create a group of images that has two versions of everything, has two Golden Gate Bridges, two Morro Rocks, etc. 
Then you animate it moving from right to left so that the two images, the beginning image and the end image, actually overlap one another so that when it does loop like this, you don't even see that little blip in between the two loops. Then you want to make sure that it doesn't smooth the beginning and the ending, and you also want to make sure that it repeats as much as you need it to, probably infinitely. Thank you.